Hi guys, this is Tech Audi. I welcome you to another video tutorial where we are building this CMS application using ASP.NET Core 3 and Angular 10. In the last video tutorial, we finished working on the user role section. As you can see, we have a user role section being displayed now. Currently, we don't have any user roles. That's because we have not yet created any new user roles in our application. We have the default user roles like admin, the customer and the moderator which cannot be edited therefore you will not see these roles over here but we would have new roles that we want to create in our application that can be edited and we can add them over here in this particular role section now to add a role first thing that we would need to do is if you go to the role form here you will see there is an image that we use in an event where somebody does not supply a default image or does not upload an image for the role then you would need to provide a default image and that's what I have done over here. I have stored this default image inside the icons folder and inside the icons folder I have a default folder. So you have to create this folder inside your uploads folder called as roles and then a folder called as icons and then default and whatever default image you want to show for the uh, role in case somebody does not upload a image. So now let's go ahead and test the functionality. So let's say I want to add a premium membership role in my application. I want to use this role for users who I want to charge a certain amount of fee. So only if they pay the fee, then they will be a part of this premium membership. So that premium membership can be anything. They can upload blogs, they can add or sell products on my website and so on, depending on whatever is your requirement. So let's call this as premium membership. Let's give this role a image so I'll give this role an image like this then I will say if the role is active or inactive so I have a flag for that and I will use a handle for the role to identify the role called as premium now I don't have any uh, permission types over here what this role can do or what this role cannot do for now on this form I can just create a role so I'll go ahead and add the role so as you can see the role is now added if I edit the role, I still don't see any permission types. So what am I going to do with these roles? So here I will go and add some permission types like upload images. So a premium member can upload images, right? Uh, we want the premium member to upload images on the advertisements. So we will create a permission type called as upload images and hit add and click OK. Now if we go back to the uh, roles we will have the option upload images shown under uh, the permission types so in this way we can create permission types so I can create another permission types like add products right so I'll click add products so now we have two permission types over here so if I go I have add products as well so in this way what I can do is if the user is a part of premium membership role then I can say the user can add update delete or read images or add update delete or read products uh, products in our application and click update so now if I go to the Azure data studio in my application to see the changes in our database table Let's go and try to log in. Here in the databases, if you look at the tables, we have the permission types and we have the role permissions. If we open both these tables, you will see that under the permission types for the application role with the role ID. So if you check the application role we have the application permission type over here which is upload images and we have the following options that are associated with the application role id so if we go to the ASP.NET uh, user roles in our application you will see that oh ASP.NET user roles sorry ASP.NET roles in our application you will see that there is a new role ID created 
that's called as premium membership so we have successfully added a new role because we have inherited from the identity role table uh, when we created the class so we were able to add this role inside the identity table or identity role table so now this id is part of the application role id and here you can see that for the upload images it has the value set to 1 which means this role can add update delete and uh, read the images in our application similarly add products if we go to the uh, products let's go back go to so let's go ahead and add the products I'll update this let me check again so now let's go back to the role in our table let me execute this and here you can see that I was able to add add products as well to this application role ID which means any user with this application role ID can add products and these are the following permissions so we can set this permission to zero which means they cannot update the role in the application so let me just change it to zero and let me go back to our application let's refresh this and let's look at the option as you can see that the update value is now unchecked that's because from the back end I changed the value to be false so anybody with premium membership cannot update the products can only add the products in this way now you will have control over roles in, a, in your application so once you have created this role you can assign these roles to your users and then you can create your custom authentication scheme now if you have not watched the video where we created the custom authentication scheme I recommend you to watch that because when we created the filter service I showed you how to create custom authentication schemes so similarly you can create custom authentication scheme for premium memberships and then you can use these custom authentication schemes in your controllers as we did for example in the area section we have controllers so we have the home controller so this home controller is only limited for the admin so admin can only access this so that's why we have this authentication scheme admin attached to the class you can attach the premium membership along with this uh, particular authorization attribute so that on premium members and admin can access this particular uh, classes or methods you can also do it at the method level as well so in this way you can add the authentication schemes and create new authentication schemes based on the new roles and authenticate your users since I'm not going to teach you how to do that in this video tutorial series because that's not within the scope I just wanted to show you guys how you can create and add new user roles in this application and that's why I had this particular section of the video tutorial just focused on creating user roles but it's a very vast topic and we would have to have implemented products blogging and many other features so that we can make use of these roles in this application for now I will just leave it as it is and just show you how to add the roles it's up to you how you want to use it so if you are not familiar with the process you can still use the comment section and I'll be happy to answer your questions but I just wanted to show you once again how you can create roles and permission types in your application and then how you can use it using the authentication schemes if you want to use it so that should be it for this video tutorial I just wanted to explain the purpose of this particular section in this video tutorial it has nothing uh, major to do with this project but just an explanation of how things can be done if you wanted to have more roles in your application also you can go ahead and modify the new user form and here you can uh, the new roles that you create you can append them over here using jquery so you can do a lot of stuff so you can get the new roles and you can show them over here dynamically instead of static roles that I show here so the list will keep increasing you can do a lot of things and 
it's up to you once again how you want to do it so try to modify the CMS try to make it more convenient for yourself and for your users so now in the next video tutorial what are we going to do in the next video tutorial let's go and start working on the email settings we will implement email in our application we would need these emails when new users registered we need to send them emails for registration when they forget their password we need to send them emails for forgot password with the codes so we need emails for many purposes so next video tutorial we will be implementing the email service and i'll show you how to do it so stay tuned please like and subscribe the channel tech howdy and for the code look at the description you will find the devop repo link thank you